doing free code camp javascript algorithms and data structures in the basic javascript course on the final challenge 113 of 113 and then we'll move on to es6 fun fun so today we are going to use recursion to create a range of numbers so if you didn't see the last what are the two challenges where we use recursion you'll know that i'm probably not the best at explaining recursion but i'm going to do my best and if you don't have a good conceptual understanding of what recursion actually is, definitely go watch some recursion explained videos and get a better grasp on that before you attempt these challenges and then kind of come back to the video and then maybe attempt them on your own. So um, yeah, what we're going to do here is we are going to continue from the previous challenge and create a recursive function to solve this problem. So we have defined a function. So we have this function range of numbers. It looks like it takes a start num and an end num. And, um, it should return an array of integers which begins at the number start num and then ends at the number end num. The starting number will always be less than or equal to the ending number. Your function must use recursion by calling itself and not use any loops. It should also work in cases where start num and end num are the same. Okay. Whenever you're going through these difficult challenges uh, and you want to get a better kind of grasp on what to do, it's helpful to kind of read there. Uh, tests that they do to see what we're looking for in outputs. So it looks like here when we have start num 1 and num of 5, we want to return an array that has 1 through 5. 6 through 9, 6 through 9. Simple enough. So as we've seen in the previous examples with these recursion videos, uh, these recursion challenges, we kind of have to have a end condition, a condition that returns like this a blank array that is the conditional that will stop the recursion, so we're not infinitely recurring. So uh, we can say, let's copy this whole line, cut this out, and then we'll have, we'll create that condition first. So we'll say if uh, n num, so yeah, we want to check if n num is less than start num, right? Because we're gonna recurse down from five to one, and then add all those numbers back as we recurse, as the recursion ends, we hit, we meet this condition, and uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, the function is complete at that point and returns the result of everything, all the recursed functions, function calls within it, if that made sense. So it'll start at five, recurse down, and then hit that can hit this condition and then all the code with within all those calls will basically get added uh will execute well execute the whole time uh and it'll execute and kind of st stack all these numbers in here from one up okay i think that's the best way to think about it so and this is the case that will return an empty array and then else if it is not so in every other condition, you know, and num will never be less than start num just out of the off the bat. Um, so what we can say here is, I don't know, let's create a variable, let nums equal range of numbers, this is where we recurse, and we'll keep start num the same, and we'll change end num to end num minus one. Okay, so it's calling itself with a smaller end num. As long as end num is larger, larger than start num, it's going to keep calling itself. And then as we as we go down, as end num keeps counting down, essentially, uh, it's not counting down in this function. It's calling itself and going over this whole thing again with a you know one less. We want to say nums dot push. And, um, and then we can simply return num, nums, like that. So essentially what's happening here is we start off, this is not true, so we enter this recursive call, and num keeps getting decremented, and that keeps happening. We keep recursing until n num is, so in this example here, uh, we start at 5, we go 
and num becomes 4, 3, 2, 1, it becomes 0. And then when it's 0, it returns an empty array. So these function calls are equal to whatever they return. So it nums is equal to an empty array. And then as it goes up the recursive, uh, I guess, loop or the tree, the path that it took to get to 0, where, where num eventually became 0 as it kept recursing down over and over. So it was 5, and then it went to 4, and then 3, and then 2, and then 1, and then 0. 0 returns this array. And then all the way up, back up, the num and num gets pushed into that return statement because this nums was equal to whatever this function returned, which kept going down and down over and over until it was zero, which then returned an array and then pushed the one from the call above it and then pushed the two from the call above it and then three from the call above it and then four from the call above it, and then five from this original recursive call, and then returned nums each time, returned itself each time. So I hope that made sense. Hope you have a little bit of a better understanding on recursion. I hope I explained that a little better. Um, it's a difficult concept to convey. Definitely something that you should visualize uh, from having watched some other recursive specific videos where they just go in depth on the topic and kind of give you a visualization of it. Uh, there's plenty of those on YouTube and I definitely recommend watching them if this did not make sense. So yeah, hope that helped. We are finally complete with the basic JavaScript course. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next course.